Welcome back to the Daily Eastern News Sports Lounge. I'm Dominic Renzetti, joined by Anthony Catazone and Aldo Soto. So let's talk a little bit of college football. Uh, Katz, you wrote a column the other day um, talking about Northern Illinois yes. and your feelings on them. And some people disagreed. So for, for those who haven't read it yet, just uh, tell them what, what it was about and what you're trying to say. Well, I just wanted to get the point across that Northern is a hell of a team. I mean, it, you don't go 12-0 and without having some talent. But on the other hand, they play in a weak MAC conference, in my opinion. They play teams like Kent State, Eastern Michigan, and UMass every single season. It's going to be pretty hard to lose to those teams. But I just wanted to make it known that if you were to put Northern in a different conference, they would not have as much success. Also, I feel like with the reaction my comment or my column got from a couple of NIU fans, I feel like that furthered my point in the fact that Northern fans don't really appreciate what they're going through now and just focus on how they're not getting more and more and more recognition and Jordan Lynch isn't hands down the best player in the nation in many people's opinion. Now, Aldo, did you think uh, Katz was right, wrong about this? Um, well, there was a couple points that Anthony was completely right about. Uh, the biggest point that Northern fans were missing out was that the only reason that Northern is undefeated and they're going to go undefeated because they're not going to lose their MAC championship game is because they're in the MAC. The MAC is a weak conference. Like Anthony said, games against Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan, Ball State was their hardest competition, and they beat them by double digits, I believe. Now, Anthony said that Jordan Lynch is not that great of a passer, and you know what, I have to kind of agree. Even though he does have more than 20 touchdown passes, more than 20 rushing, touchdown, uh, rushing touchdowns, again, it's against weak competition, it's the Mac, and, you know, he's just a glorified Tim Tebow. These Northern fans that do have issues with my column, I want them to know that the fact that I'm, I'm not trying to say that Eastern is a better team than them or that that game even really mattered. All I'm pointing out is that Eastern, an FCS team, could easily compete, not saying they could win the MAC, but it could compete in the MAC. I'm not saying that Eastern is better than Northern. Clearly, Northern won. In that one game, Northern was the better team. There's no jealousy. There's no uh, bitterness about that game back in September. I'm just using that game as fact to point out that the MAC isn't as strong as other FBS conferences. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns for Anthony Catazone, he's more than happy to talk to you on Twitter at his handle, at Anthony Katz with a Z. Oh, hold on. I just got an update. And it appears that Northern Illinois is still overrated. Uh, there's another football game this weekend, Eastern against Tennessee State, a rematch of a game earlier this, this year. This time it's here at the frozen tundra of O'Brien <laughs> Field. Who do you guys got? Uh, well, I think hands down it's going to be Eastern. The first game was 34-16. to Eastern won on a neutral site for Tennessee State's homecoming. But I don't think this time around the game is going to be as close, even though it's still a double-digit win in Eastern's favor. I think that talking with Coach Dino Babers, he has reiterated that Tennessee State's offense has not changed that much in the couple weeks that they last played, despite the quarterback change, and I think it's just going to be too predictable for Eastern's defense. And even though it's a cold-weather game, Eastern's offense will be too hot for the Tennessee State defense to slow down. Uh, I agree with Anthony. Eastern's going to win. Last game, Tennessee State gave him a good battle. Gave him kind of a little bit of fits in the first half, but Eastern still won by double digits. It's going to be more of the same Saturday. Eastern's last game, Jimmy Garoppolo did not have Eric Laura or Kendrick over. They're both going to be back Saturday. Um, I expect probably a three touchdown win. So Eastern advances in the playoffs. Nelson Mandela just died. Oh my god! Oh, this is breaking Freaky news. Break it. <laughs> this is, this is a live Nelson Mandela's died at age 95. Oh. ESPN was reporting. So Hang sad. On the a moment of silence for uh, Mr. Nelson Mandela. This is this has never happened to us before here in the Den Sports Lounge. Well, friends, Anthony, what is just your greatest <laughs> memory of Nelson Mandela? Um. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. 
when <laughs> what's the rugby movie with Matt Damon? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's a great movie. Exactly. I that honestly don't know what Nelson Mandela looks like. I, I'm just picturing Morgan. Freeman. Me too. <laughs> Me too. That is racist. No, no he's played. He's him played him at least three times. Mandela. Invictus. Invictus. I, I watched. Movie. Get out. I was the first one in leather jogging pants like seven years ago when I took them to Fendi, to Prada, to Louis, Versace. <laughs> and now, when you see a <laughs> without leather jogging pants on, ain't never. We the new slaves. The daily use leather jogging pants. <laughs> Those aren't jogging, Those aren't jogging <laughs> pants at all. That's it for this week's edition <laughs> of the Daily Sunu Sports Lounge. I'm Dominic Renzetti, or Anthony Kanye West, <laughs> Canazone, and all those soda. We'll see you next time.